Hey y'all, it's me so. Welcome to my kitchen today. I want you to come on in. Guess what I'm gonna do for you? I'm gonna cook you something good. Yes, and here we're making some tartar sauce. We're going to start out like that. I'm just cutting up some banana peppers, and I'm going to leave most of the seeds out. I'll let a few go in. It doesn't really matter. I'm putting in some lemon juice, and I started out with mayonnaise. I'm putting in some garlic. Yeah, making this tartar sauce because I'm going to do one of my favorite things, and that's fry some fish. Uh, in fact, some flounder and some scallops and some hush puppies and have a great little meal. You know, I like the fish to be blackened and broiled and all that kind of stuff. But one, sometimes you just got to have it. You just want some fried seafood. And that's what we're going to do today. So I'm putting in horseradish. These are some sweet pickle relish. This is some Thai curry paste. Now this curry paste is optional. You don't have to have this. But if you make it just like I'm making it, you're going to have some tartar sauce out of this world like you've never had before. And I'm putting in here, here two tablespoons of sugar. And this here is my, um, these are my flounders. I've got three pounds of flounder here and I'm going to go ahead and get them seasoned up. Now you don't have to really worry about getting the details of this recipe because you go back to the description box and you just click on the link that takes you straight to my website where you can get that and many other recipes and you get it for free. It is printable. You don't have to write it down. Yeah, that's Fresca, you see. In this, you're going to be using Fresca, Sprite, or 7-Up. I'm going to give this a good mix. I've got here two bowls with both a combination of flour and cornmeal. I put the fresca in. I'm going to give it a good stir. Now I am going to rub all of the seasonings into the fish. I'm going to just make sure that all of it gets well combined. I'm putting here, I'm putting on some um, Hungarian sweet paprika. And I'm just going to get all of it, just get it, make sure it's covered. And I'm gonna bring back my bowls of the cornmeal, the wet and the dry cornmeal. Now I'm just gonna dip these, these pieces of fish uh, first into the liquid and then into the dry, and uh, then um, back into the liquid, and then sometimes from the dry to the liquid. I just want you to try both ways to see which you like your fish, liquid first or dry first. You could either, you can dip it back and forth even three times instead of two. And that's if you like a real heavy, a real nice, a thick coating of a crust on your fish. I don't like mine that thick. I like just a light, relatively light coating. I don't like it real thick. So here I'm still coating all of my fish, getting it ready. And um, I'm just about finished. I'm gonna get all that, because then you want it to, I put, I'm putting mine on this uh, cookie sheet. I'm gonna let it just stay here until I get all of it done. Then I'm gonna transfer it over into this very hot, bubbly, uh, deep fryer. So in this deep fryer, you know, you can fry that fish so crispy, crunchy, just like you like it. And so that's what I'm gonna do. We got this frying up, looking good. This is hot. You gotta be really careful in this part of it. If you don't have a deep fryer, that's okay. You can use a boiler, one of your large boilers, and you can put oil in that. Uh, and when I say large, you want a boiler that you can get, you know, maybe four pieces of fish into at a time. So you, it works just like a deep fryer. You don't have that extra appliance on your shelf or in your cabinet somewhere. Okay, so look how beautiful and how gorgeous and how crispy it looks. You can tell it before you even eat it. Yeah, looking good. I'm just taking this up. I have an old pan here and I'm with some parchment paper in it. And I am just taking this up on and put it on the parchment paper just to let it, uh, some of that oil drain off. You can use a baking rack, a cooling rack, or something like that if you'd like to. But this serves my purpose today. Now I'm going back in with the scallops. And I still have a few more pieces of fish also that I need to fry. So I'm um, putting the scallops in first. They don't need to fry but just a minute. So also you see in there that I have two pieces of fish and I'm putting in another piece of fish. So this basket has some scallop and some, some uh, fish in it. It smells so good. So I'm getting the scallops out. They don't need to stay in very long at all. Getting the scallops out. And I still have a few more pieces of fish. Now, you know, while I was making this video, 
I whipped up some hush puppies, which were very, very easy. But I didn't video that part. I didn't put it on video. I just made them. So I'm going to have to come back and make you guys some hush puppies so we can do that together and see how easy it is to make really good hush puppies. There they go. I am putting them in the oil now. I'm using a very small ice cream scoop. You could use a tablespoon or something, but if you want to keep them uniform and the same size, looking pretty much the same way, then you want to use some type of uh, scoop, preferably. Or you could even use a large tablespoon. So still frying just a little more. About to finish this, this up. Look Now look at those um, hush puppies. Really good. So I've taken everything up now. I've got fish, hush puppies, and uh, scallops. Just a nice little fe feast. Okay, I've gone ahead and plated it up here, and look at this. Now while you weren't looking, I also made some coleslaw. But I have coleslaw recipe on this channel and look at my hush puppies and i paired it with some corn on the cob now there's that tartar sauce that i made mm -mm -mm. time to taste it but first let me this is fresh lemon juice so i have a lemon here and i just squeezed it and uh over, over the fish so let me just taste it let me dip it in this magnificent sauce honey i don't even want to call it tartar sauce because this is so much better than any tartar sauce i've ever had look at that <laughs> when that hits your mouth, ah, oh, the fried fish, the flavor of the tartar sauce, mm, 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 mm. another dippy dippy, mm, mm. So good. Coming right on around that plate, let me get some of this coleslaw, and believe you me, it is good. A lot of people say they don't like coleslaw, but I'm not bragging. I'm being honest. I've never met anybody that didn't like mine because mine is a tart and a sweet coleslaw. Really good. Really crunchy. Um, the hush puppy. <laughs> you see it. Oh, man. And I just got to go around here and get a little bit of this uh, corn. Butter's not quite fully melted, but that's okay. It's got a little salt on it. Mm, really good. This is a comfort food for me. We love this. This is just when we're having fun. Got a little fried fish. Don't want to do it like this always. Look at that scallop. Into that beautiful sauce. Don't want to do it like this always, but you know, fried fish, fried seafood, well, heck, fried food, period, is a real treat. Real southern kind of way of making stuff, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. So good, so good. Look at that. You guys do this. Do it for your family. Just do it for a fun night. Do it on the weekend. Really, really great. This is the way to go, baby. This is the way to eat your fish sometime. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That's a big triple ten. I want to thank you guys for coming by, checking on me to see what I was doing. And you knew I would be throwing down. I hope that I did not disappoint. If you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you, thank you. And if you're not, please hit that red subscribe button and also hit the notification bell until parentheses come around that bell. That way you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. Also, uh, give me a thumbs up, a like, uh, give me, uh, leave me some uh, comments. I love reading your comments. I read each and every one of them. Can't always answer, but I do read them. I want you to share my videos wherever you're active on social media. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. And uh, then uh, I just appreciate you watching. Please come back. Guys, look, here's what I want you to do. Love yourself. If you love yourself, then you can love somebody else. And some people ask me, well, how, how do I love somebody else? How do I show my love? Look, show your love. Share your food. That way you share your love. Share your food by sharing your love. Okay, guys, bye-bye. Be safe out there.